your tag girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. Yes po, we have another Xiaomi unboxing and quick review video. Actually, sobrang ganda ng packaging niya. I like that it's color black and meron siyang holographic effect doon sa kanyang text na Note 10. And by the way, sa mga nagtatanong po pala, itong Mi Note 10 Lite, it will be available sa Xiaomi's official Lazada page sa June 4. And the price is 16,990 pesos. Yun po yung base variant na 6 gig of RAM with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And then for the max variant po na 8 gig of RAM with 128 gig of internal storage, the price is 18,990 pesos. This is the Nebula Purple and yung variant po na meron ako is the 6 gig of RAM. Oh and by the way guys, speaking of Lazada, this will be very quick lang guys. Bibigyan ko kayo ng tips on buying gadgets online. Siyempre, we need to make wise decisions, especially in purchasing gadgets online. Lazada will be having a 6 6 sale from June 4 to June 6, 2020. I have a few items here, guys, that I got from Lazada that will also be part of their 6 6 sale. Katulad nitong camera styling from Rinke. Much needed dahil alam kong kailangan ko na for my iPhone 11 Pro Max. An iPhone 11 Pro Spigen case, pang regalo po ito. Another case, and this one naman is from Rinke. And we have an endurance run earphones from JBL. Globe at home prepaid Wi-Fi. And syempre, we also have budget phones that will be part of their 6 6 sale. Hynex H5 from QNet. Meron tayong Infinix Hot 8, 4 gig of RAM with 64 gig of storage. Actually, I haven't reviewed this Infinix Hot 8, but let me know if you guys want a separate video about this. Don't worry, lahat po ng links and the price will be in the description box. So lahat ng tech stuff and gadgets that I mentioned will be part of their 6 6 Laz Bounce Back. Meron din po akong code for the first time customers, 6 6 Laz Last bounce back para makakuha kayo ng 100 off for a minimum purchase of 500 pesos. Okay, going back sa ating topic. This is the Xiaomi Mi Note 10 Lite. Alam ko excited rin kayo sa video na to dahil syempre alam kong gusto nyo rin malaman if this Mi Note 10 Lite is as good as their flagship na Mi Note 10. Although I don't have that unit yet, sana ma-review natin yun. Let me first unbox this. Pag open, bubungad po sa atin agad yung phone. And yung kulay po is nebula purple. This is also available in glacier white and yung midnight black. Of course, hindi mawawala yung ating SIM ejector tool or yung ating panandot. A free jelly case. At syempre, yung ating user guide and warranty card. We also have a USB Type-C cable. And a 30 watt power brick. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Actually, I'm not sure kung ganito pa rin yung magiging kulay niya sa camera natin. But when I first saw this phone, I had to double check kung nebula purple ba talaga yung meron ako. Kasi medyo mas bluish siya. But honestly guys, I'm not complaining. Mas gusto ko siya actually dahil angat na angat yung kulay niya dito sa white background natin. Another first impression guys, nagulat ako sa camera setup niya. Actually, wala siyang camera bump. Flat lang yung ating camera setup. Which is good dahil maiiwasan yung pag-wobble niya sa mga flat surface. Actually, the design may be familiar to you lalo na kung nakita nyo na yung Mi Note 10, yung flagship version nito. Hindi sila masyadong nagkakalayo ng itsura. Wala rin camera bump yung Mi Note 10 na flagship. And the weight is 204 grams. Yes, medyo may kabigatan itong Mi Note 10 Lite. Let me also give you muna a quick tour sa kanyang camera setup. So, una-una, meron po tayong 64 megapixels wide-angled main camera. An 8 megapixels ultra wide angle camera, a 5 megapixels depth sensor, and we have 2 megapixel macro camera. On the right side, there is actually a lot going on here. And dito yung ating volume rocker. And then sa ilalim, we have the power button and we have a SIM card tray. Although it is dual SIM. But the problem here, guys, is hindi po siya expandable storage. Take note lang tayo doon. And then sa ilalim, we have speaker grill, a microphone, USB Type-C port, and a headphone jack. And then sa ibaba, we have the secondary microphone and an IR blaster. And also, bago ko makalimutan, front and back Corning Gorilla Glass 5 po ito. And meron din po siyang P2i splash proof nano coating. Hindi po ibig sabihin nun, pwede natin ilubog itong Mi Note 10 Lite sa tubig. And kung makikita nyo sa display, although wala man tayong yung usong punch hole ngayon, that we usually see sa mga mid-range devices, may notch tayo dito. Sa totoo lang, okay lang na notch siya for as long as it is an AMOLED display. Actually, meron siyang 6.47 inches 
3D curved AMOLED dot drop display with 1080p by 2340 Full HD+. Yung kanyang brightness po is up to 430 nits. It's actually refreshing guys na makakita ng mid-range device na curved display. Although hindi naman po siya ganun ka-curved katulad ng ibang flagship devices, hindi siya ganun ka-extreme unlike the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, which is actually not bad. Hindi siya too much. Kumbaga, saktong curved display lang. And syempre, since AMOLED display nga to, don't worry guys, mayroon siyang in-display fingerprint sensor. So, nagustuhan ko rin guys na every time may bago kayong notification, yung kanyang edge umiilaw po. Maliit na bagay man, it is still a good additional feature. Well, normal din naman to, especially if you have a curved display na AMOLED. Now, kumusta yung display niya, Mary? Well, one thing is for sure, again, this is an AMOLED display. It really gives me vibrant colors and mas deeper yung blacks niya. If you remember guys, I left you a question on my previous videos regarding kung anong mas prefer ko. Is it an AMOLED display with 60Hz refresh rate or an IPS LCD display na higher refresh rate? Don't get me wrong guys, syempre mas maganda kung parehas na meron ka. But then pagdating sa mga mid-range devices, you really can't have it all. So kailangan mo lang mamili. Actually, parehas kami ni Isa. Shout out to Isa Dostek. I'll be linking her video down below. Well, yes, we love having a higher refresh rate. Syempre mas smooth, madulas sa mata. But since we are this type of person na mas madalas manood, at syempre mas nakikita mo sa araw, so yes, mas prefer namin yon. Also guys, it has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G, and we all know what G stands for gaming. Actually guys, itong Mi Note 10 Lite, yung naging result ng ang tuto niya is 267,340. And kung i-compare natin siya to the Redmi Note 9 Pro, it is 270,451. Actually, konting-konti lang yung pinagkaiba ng 720G sa 730G na meron ito. Does it apply in real life? Actually, yes, medyo mahirap din makita yung difference nila. Especially that they are both smooth in terms of multitasking gaming, and everyday social media. Although, mas masarap lang maglaro, syempre dito, dahil AMOLED display nga ito. In terms of the notch and the punch hole, wala naman sa akin yun, guys, dahil parehas pa rin naman silang nasa gitna. Now, let me give you a quick tour sa kanyang camera app. Actually, the camera application has a very simple interface in a good way. Kung baga, pagbukas mo, nandun na lahat ng kailangan mo. Katulad ng 64 megapixels, very accessible. Yung kanyang macro lens, nasa taas lang. Even the HDR. We also have a option para makapag-shoot ng short video. Using the main camera guys, pwede po tayong mag-shoot ng 4K up to 30fps. And then for the ultra-wide, pwede tayong mag-shoot ng videos in 1080p at 30fps. While video recording, we cannot switch between wide to ultra-wide or vice versa. We also have night mode, panorama, and pro mode. And also guys, what I really like about this is meron siyang tinatawag na vlog mode. Actually, makikita rin natin to sa Poco Phone F2 Pro. Coming very very soon. And of course, for the front camera, we have 16 megapixels. Let me give you guys my sample photos that I took using the Mi Note 10 Lite. And again, for the operating system, it has the MIUI 11 based on Android 10. Meron din siyang NFC. Actually, the NFC, guys, it is something that I don't really consider before. Pero nung nagsimula na ako maglaro sa Nintendo Switch, madalas ko na siyang inahanap sa mga smartphones ngayon. And yes, it is important to some people talaga. It has a huge 5,260 mAh battery capacity. And again, it has a 30W fast charging. Siyempre, guys, if we have a big battery, something that we should 
always consider when buying smartphones, dapat fast charger din yung kasama sa kanya. And this is what Xiaomi did. Actually guys, according to them, in just 64 minutes, mafu-fully charge na tong phone na to. Well, I'll be honest guys, hindi ko pa po natitest or wala pa tayong charging test na nagagawa. But definitely, sasama natin yan sa full review. Though, hindi pa natin natatry yung charging test, yung battery life naman, masasabi ko na it really did lasted me for almost two days. So yes, this will be the end of our unboxing and first impressions. And also, I just noticed, I know Xiaomi is releasing a lot of devices right now. Actually, medyo nalilito na nga ako, but this is a great opportunity, lalo na sa ating mga consumers. The more choices, the merrier. Anyway, again, it's your Tagram Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye, guys!